This is an official FBI report. October 31st, 2010, 7.43 p.m. Central Standard Time, Las Vegas, Nevada. Interrogator, myself, Special Agent Lebowski. Dun, dun, dun. Subjects, Cat Nose. Jenny Decker. Information has come to our attention about the incidents at the San Antonio airport. We're fairly certain neither of you engaged in terrorist activity, so let's center our discussion around a series of events that occurred later that day and the days to follow. Oh, so we'll just skip right over the innocent woman being tasered multiple times for no apparent reason. That's not important, I guess. Correct. Now, take us through the events at the Alamo. I don't like you, Lebowski. You're not getting anything out of us, traitor. Yeah, traitor. Let's discuss the incident involving the leg of one of the members of the Tea Party rally. Yeah, that was her. <gasps> hey! Damn it, Jenny! You stop that it. illogical miscreant! Stop, stop you stop kidding it. me! Stop dun, dun, dun. I'm menopausal. And? <sighs> leg humping relieves stress. Ask any dog. Let's move on. I don't like having y'all talk about my menopause. I'm feeling discriminated against. Do I need to make a call to Gloria Allred? Yeah, that's right, Gloria Allred. Does the town Lajitas in Tejas mean anything to you? Inbreeding. You'll have to excuse Jenny. She had a close encounter in an outhouse with Junior Hill Billy. I believe the gentleman in question would like a few words. <gasps> I swear it was self-defense and it wasn't even a weapon. You stabbed me in the eye with the tube of ass cream, you crazy bitch. I'm pretty sure hemorrhoid cream can't be considered a concealed weapon in Texas. Can I press charges? He tried to molest me while I was tending to my lower orifice. I want to sue for emotional distress. I know my rights. You were in my bathroom, lady. <sighs> we met this person when we ran out of gas and his father kindly offered to give us some. So while I went to use the on-site facilities, Junior here attacked me. But did you see me running up to the local police station to file charges? No. I ended up in the emergency room getting splinters taken out of my ass and my coochie because he tried to get all hands across America with me while I was trying to lube up my- It's okay, Jenny. Calm down. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm still having nightmares. Let's move this along, shall we? Does this man look familiar to you? Ugh. He wanted to turn us into a human centipede. This guy was jerking his way to crazy town on the hood of Cat's car while we were parked at the truck stop trying to get some sleep. He got what was coming to him. Public nudity, public masturbation. Victimless crime. Besides, a little duct tape and pepper spray never hurt anyone. Next issue. Have you ladies ever been over to an establishment called La Tate Up a Queen? Ya? Have you? That is not relevant. Um... Lebowski, did you forget to take your riddle in this morning? Dun dun dun! <laughs> I'd like to know if the turncoat FBI guy that befriended us and is now questioning us frequents titty bars. I have a copy of a police report here. A Miss Fifi McGee asserts that you stole a pair of boots and a lighted top from her locker, and then proceeded to do a strip tease wearing them. Where's the proof? Of? Of the existence of said boots and top in the first place. God damn it. was a complete gentleman. Ma'am, he's wanted in three states for multiple murders. I don't believe that for a minute. Well, that doesn't prove anything. Besides, what does that have to do with me? What was I supposed to do? Make a citizen's arrest on someone I didn't even know was a criminal at the time? You are barking up the wrong tree. I hope you've got something better than this. I'm starting to get very disappointed in you. There was a complaint from a Mrs. Cindy Watson. We don't know any Mrs. Cindy Watson. She alleges to have and not received her complimentary wedding video. Would you know anything about that? Oh, for God's sake. Here, give this to the blushing bride. Tell her to email me and I'll give her footage. But between you and me, that wasn't a ceremony that anyone's going to want to relive. I give that marriage a week, tops. A day and a half if he catches a whiff of the all-male review at the Luxor tonight. What did you do after you left the wedding 
chapel? Mm, nothing. Nothing? Well, some things probably did happen, we just don't remember them. Oh, tell me more. We were drunk, duh. This is Las Vegas. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Do you know this, gentleman? Uh-uh. In what sense? In the literal sense, you goddamn sweetheart. How about the biblical one? Little lady. Ugh. This section has been redacted. Okay, so let's get to this morning. So you mean after we woke up and Cat was in bed with Black Elvis? Yes, today, October 31st, Halloween. We had breakfast, toast, eggs. I don't care about the goddamn menu. Let's get to the speech. The Republican National Idiots. Win bags. How long have you two been planning to attack Carl Roof? We're not planning an attack on Carl Rove. We're writing a writing a manifesto on our blog about menopause. It's not relevant to the question at hand. I just have a bad attention span, apparently. Damn it! I've had enough. Are you going to arrest us for anything? Nah, you ain't under no arrest. Good. Then we're leaving. We've got a long drive back home tomorrow, and I'd like to see some more of Vegas and have some fun before I'm stuck in a car with Jenny listening to ABBA for three days. You said you liked ABBA. I most certainly did not. Yes, you did. That night when we were driving through Arizona, remember? It was really late and I was trying to keep you awake because I didn't want you to fall asleep and then I was going to fall asleep the wheel until it broke.